Yes, for sure it is a new day. 832 is our time right now. Halfway through the second hour of the show on the morning takeover here with us today to uh, also kind of help Stan uh, tell us more about PWR, that's Philippine Wrestling Revolution for you, Vendetta, which uh, happens to be the last, it is the final show for this year, 2018, Ooh, right? That's right. Our special guest, Everybody roll out the red carpet. It is JGL in the booth. Yeah, good morning. Ve hey, what's very good. Let's try that again. Oh, oh. There you there. go. All right, all right, here we go. Hey, Good JGL. morning. Magandang umaga, mga amigo at amiga. Hey. It is very early. It is. I am not used to being on radio this early. No, I appreciate that our guest, despite being a hardworking Philippine excellence champion, is on time. Actually, yes. yeah, early enough for the interview. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, welcome to the show, JD. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. This isn't your first time on Wave, right? Oh, no, it's not. It is not. Okay. I have been here before. It's either watching other wrestlers get interviewed or I have <laughs> right. also been on air. But right. this is definitely this is... your first time to talk about a PWR Vendetta. Yes, it is my first time to talk about PWR Vendetta this year. We're going to have a great show. It's actually our last show of 2018, so I expect a lot of drama, action, suspense, because cause with how PWR's uh, calendar year is of shows. Uh, treat Vendetta as like our mid-season ender. Right. So there's gonna be a lot of stories that either pop up or finish by the show. So I'm hoping uh, to to work off your earlier segment. Ano sagot? My early Christmas wish. Nice. Yes. Yes. Let's get to it. It. My early Christmas wish is I hope a lot of fans watch uh, PWR Vendetta 2018 this year at the Paramax Center Spotlight in Circuit Makati on November 25. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right. No, okay, so what is this belt? What is it? I mean, it, it looks it's heavy, like, it looks really pretty, but it I mean... It's very heavy, yeah. Um, so this belt, this is the Philippine Excellence Championship. Ooh. So I have been the Philippine Excellence Champion ever since August. Yes, August. And this belt represents everything that is excellent about Philippine wrestling. Mm -hmm. So if you hold this belt... I will hold your belt. I yeah, will. You can I, hold can it. Can I wear your belt? Yeah, yes. <laughs> please, please, yeah. Touch oh, belt. yeah, it is... It is very it heavy. It is heavy, ladies and gents. It? it is not. Is it, it is not fun heavy, putting it through uh, putting through the airport. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, no, this is not fun it to be bringing fun. to the airport with you, actually. Yeah, I'm a bigger chest. So Chloe's holding it right now. She's about to pass it to Cheska. You can actually catch us on Twitch.tv yes, slash wave eight nine one F. Cheska, we hear the Velcro. The this is my dream, guys. <laughs> this is my can, I just, can I just live this dream for a little bit? Go okay, ahead, go we're giving you the chance. To live your dream uh, on your right now, though. and uh, I am taking actually taking a video of Cheska putting the belt, the PWR belt around her. No, waist. it's actually the PHX belt. The so PHX Philippi yeah. belt. So it's short for Philippine Excellence. So it's kind of like this is the belt that represents uh, the best of the best of Philippine Excellence, uh, the Philip, the most excellent Philippine wrestlers here in the country and everywhere else in the in the whole world, actually. So when you hold that belt, you know that you are a symbol. I, I do feel wrestling. like a symbol right now. Yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel, you look like what a symbol. What kind of a symbol are you now, Chad? I, I don't know, some kind of wrestling symbol. It feels amazing. That's a keyboard, but a symbol. Oh, Grab Thomas just asked me if I can smash Mr. C with the belt, so I guess not. Oh, wait, not, not, not our partner. Oh. Okay, by the way, we need there's, him on the show. There's security here. There's I just started. I need him. So right, here you maybe go. after a month or so. See, I, I love women. Women defend me. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, we got your back. We got your back, Stan. No I'm an ally of women. Plus, we know that you're you're out of sick leave. So if you get hurt oh, today, no. you'll go on sick leave tomorrow, which is unpaid. So also true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also true. Okay, so tell us for our listeners out there who are hearing you for the first time and learning about PWR for the first time, mm -hmm. uh, what again? What can they expect from you on November twenty five? Are you are you he are headlining? Is that the right term? Well, I do have a championship match. It's going to be against five other people, so it's going to be a very chaotic match. It's called a six way survival match. So six I will way. six way survival, and I will be defending this PHX championship Ooh. against Ken Warren, Chris Spanzer, Crystal, John Sebastian, and a visitor from Singapore. His name his name is Andrew Tang. So. So in layman's term, you're defending against it, other five, five guys. Other, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard it's gonna be a hard match Whoa. to win. But you know, I am Mr. Philippine Wrestling, so yeah. I will come on top. <laughs> and this match is something that will be the first ever to be seen here in Philippine Wrestling. So you better not miss this one. So yeah. Okay. We we also have to talk to Mr. Stan C though. Yes, let us. He's he's got some stuff going on. 
Yeah, so uh, at Vendetta, I'm going to be leading my team, the Ooh. Mr. C Group of Talents, or well, MSG well, for well. short. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm basically their talent manager. And I'm sure you guys know how talent managers work. They create mm -hmm. opportunities, they broker deals. I manage two wrestlers in PWR. Their names are Main Max and Sandata. And I was able to get them in a position to challenge for the PWR Tag Team Championships against the current title holders. Evan Carlo and Trian De La Torre, uh, or uh, the Naughty Boys of Philippine Wrestling. Yes. Oh, we've met them. The yes, twins. Yes, they've yeah. been on the show, yeah. They yeah. have been on the show. So it, it should be a lot of fun as well. I know that people have been so engrossed by the social media back and forth between MSG and between the Naughty Boys, and it all comes to a head this Sunday at Vendetta. So, okay. JDL, how are you preparing, like, physically, yeah. mentally, for this match? Because this is your first six-way... Yeah, this is the first six-way survival <laughs> match. <laughs> 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 Sorry, what came out? So, I, I don't know. The interesting, thing, anyway. the interesting thing about this match is that the person who wins this match is the one who survives all other competitors. So, okay. you can get eliminated from this match if you're a pin or submitted. And the thing is, two people start it, and then there are going to be four other people who are handcuffed outside. Oh, so, yeah, oh, six-way okay. survival sounds very interesting. So like an in a in an allotment of time, uh, one other person gets uncuffed and enters the match. So it's gonna be very chaotic. Yeah. So how I'm preparing for this is I'm doing a lot of cardio, just making sure that I keep my stamina up, and making sure I am ready to receive a lot of pain, a huge oh, amount yeah. of pain, because oh. there are five other competitors. You're not kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> there, are, I've been I've been smacking myself in the head for oh, <laughs> for the past of, month. A lot of pain, a lot of smacking. Yes. <laughs> Five other guys. Yes, I mean, I so I'm imagine. just making sure that I outlast all five, my five other competitors so that yeah. I still come out as your Philippine Excellence Champion. I'm watching my very first PWR oh, this hey. Sunday, hey. right? Hey. About damn time. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> About I, damn time. I, I, momentous yeah. siya kasi last nyo first ko, di ba? Uh, no, but my question is, how long does one match like this one last? Because well, um, I'm, I'm just trying to make sense of your endurance, like how yeah. how much do you have to stretch your stamina? It really depends because like there are some matches that can go five minutes, there are some matches that yeah. can go even an hour. So this wow. match, I'm not really sure. I'm just preparing myself for the worst. Maybe we can go like two hours or such but you know I'm gonna try to finish things quick I'm gonna try to keep it around 30 minutes just to make sure that after the match I can relax enjoy myself have a drink and then enjoy the next day wow. still being PHX champion okay but of course Mr. Manager over here <laughs> Mr. Big Shot Manager I mean okay we we are wrestling fans like yeah. we've talked about this on air many mm -hmm. times but of course there are people who are like eh wrestling yeah eh, what is this like right. it's, they don't consider it like they don't consider it entertainment or they don't even consider it a sport but mm -hmm. i mean there is some physical training that goes into this i mean jdl and can it speak it's entertaining yes it is uh you know there's a reason why sports entertainment is widely used to characterize mm -hmm. pro wrestling i'm sure jdl can talk a lot okay. about the physical pain because he's an actual yeah. wrestler but yeah. the, my favorite analogy is when you see amelia clark she's not really the mother of dragons right <laughs> She's never naked with her blonde hair. She's a brunette, right? She doesn't have the power to summon dragons. If you look at Game of Thrones and take it so seriously and say, oh, Peter Dinklage isn't really like a Lannister and he doesn't really pay his debts all the time, uh, then that's a very perverted way of looking at Game of Thrones or at TV shows in general. Okay. So if you look at professional wrestling as, some, as, as a story, as a story that we all tell in which there's a real uh, display of athleticism, mm -hmm. a real uh, sense of pain for the people who actually perform, then I think you can get, uh, get a newfound appreciation for the craft. Okay. There you go. And uh, you want to add uh, anything else, JDL? Or if you want to, do you want to like just send a shout out or an invite again, well, invite our listeners? Yeah, for... well, Stan hit it on the head. Uh, it is sports entertainment like he hit Camus other places, <laughs> but you know. We love Camus, by the way. He, he frequents Wave. Or... Right? But yeah, um, again, you. I would in, I would like to invite everyone who's listening right now and everyone who's not even not listening, please go to Peter Vendetta, November 25, Power Max Center Spotlight at Circuit Makati. The show starts at 2, it's a Sunday, there's no traffic, and where you can get tickets, you can just message us on PDBR's Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash phwrestlingrevo, on Twitter and Instagram at PDBR Official, or you can also go to ticket. Uh, ticket me ticket to me dot net oh man it's too early <laughs> ticket to me dot net and then uh, buy tickets there it's easy it's hassle free it's online or you can also email us at pdr dot tickets at gmail dot com you did okay. so well today Jay. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. and you know what since you came to the show 
Can I be the first person to say na may leverage ka na? Uh, may leverage ka na. <laughs> Where can they follow you? Oh uh, yeah, um you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Senorito JDL and my Facebook is also facebook.com slash Senorito JDL and if any bookers or promoters out there are listening to this, <laughs> you know, or you want to meet at kids' parties. Yes! But, you know. but yes, you be our official. Yes, please, book us. There we you want go. more shows. Thank you so much, JDL. He is headlining PWR Vendetta, the last, the final show for uh, for the year 2018. So details, again, uh, they can catch it on social media. Yes, uh, at PH Wrestling Revo on Facebook, at PWR Official Twitter on Instagram, and on Sunday, November 25, 2 p.m., doors, uh, doors will open around 1.30, 1.45. You can get tickets at 350 pesos mm-hmm. for the early bird rate, 999 for three, and for the gate itself, it's at 400 pesos. There you have it. Thanks again, JDL, for Thank joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Getting you. back to more of the music right now how about something from Bryce Vine Drew Barrymore 843 is a time you're locked in to wave 89.1 just good music